Here we are back with another update, so let's check it out. Looking in the shop, you can actually see there's two new cars, one of them being the Cyberpunk, which is a Cybertruck in real life, and the R400. Here we are with the Cybertruck. Um, I think it's going to be similar to the other Teslas. It's not going to be great in any races, really. Looking at the top speed, it's not great, and looking at the score, this is a pretty high score for this bad of a car. And here are the customizations for the Cyberpunk. This car actually has very little amount of customizations you can put on it. And here's the R400. I actually like how this car sounds when it starts up. Now I'm going to upgrade the car and show you the customizations for it. Here is the car fully customized, now I'm going to see how fast it can go. For 2.2 million this car isn't really worth it. And now for the stuff that isn't new cars in the shop, we have brand new weekly quests which bring a new car and more money. At the end of the video, I'll show you how good this car is. And if you were watching closely, you could see that I was going through new things called speed traps which capture your speed and it shows the rank of each player in the game with how fast they go by it. As you can see, I just went through a speed trap and I got rank first and this works in the singular lobby, so whoever's in the lobby can go through it and try to get the best speed out of everybody else in the lobby. But as you can see, I'm 7th on the leaderboard for this speed trap. I think that adding these is a good part of the update because for new players, it allows them to do something and it'll keep them coming into the game because it's not just simply driving around the map. Alright, so I have finished the two quests, and now I'm just waiting on the minutes, so while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to show you how good this car is in Around the World.
So this car can get under 1 minute 50 seconds, but compared to other cars that are a thousand times cheaper, this car isn't that good. Like, just save for the ST3 RS or get the P1 like it is here, and it's not even, his isn't even maxed, and it's able to beat mine. Here are some of my speed trap times. Let me know down in the comments if you've beaten any of these. So starting off this one over here, the first one in Around the World, I got 443. The second one in Around the World, I got 435. The third one, I got 420. The fifth one, I got 453. And for the very last one in Around the World, I got 439. For the speed trap right in front of the dealership, I got 441. And for the last one that I could find on the map, uh, I got 363 on the drag strip. Looking out here, it actually seems like they updated the water texture again. And the water seems like it's way further out, but if you actually look under, the ground actually stops right here. So you'll end up falling off. Here is the time on drag with the R400. While I wait for the final quest to finish, I'm gonna customize the R400. There we go, and checking on the quest, we have five minutes left. Thirty seconds left. And there you go. I have finished all the weekly quests. Now let's try this car out. Here is the car in person and it has a pretty cool decal on it. And here it is fully maxed, and I'm gonna try it out and see how good it is in Around the World. Look at this card, it actually has some weird glitches on it where the different parts go through each other. Yeah, with stock gears, this doesn't seem that good for around the world. Also, for some reason, when I was driving this around, it had a weird problem where it would just randomly turn to the left or to the right when I wasn't touching anything. Now, here are the customizations for it.
Now I'm going to paint it how I like. And there we go, there's it all customized the way I like it. And here are all the cars in person when they're fully stock. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update. Uh, do you like these cars? Do you like the speed traps? Do you like uh, weekly quests? And I'll see you in the next video.